All right, let's talk about this new variant now, BA2. And many of our viewers hear new variant and their minds start to race to wonder, are we gonna see another spike in cases? Do you think we'll see another COVID surge? Well, no, I don't, not with the BA2, and I don't think with the Omicron. The Omicron basically has infected everybody in the country that is infectable, that's the non-vaccinated, and those who have not had a previous infection. Uh, the Omicron is very transmissible, and I never thought I'd see another variant that was more transmissible than the Omicron. And the BA2 is 30% more transmissible than the already very transmissible Omicron variant. The good news, Rich, is it only involves the upper airways. It is an upper respiratory virus versus the Delta variant and perhaps the Alpha variant as well, which are lower respiratory variants that infect the lower part of the lung and cause damage and death. So the Omicron variant is, is not concerning to me and the BA2, while it may cause spikes, is not concerning either because our population is very protected now. Over 80% have antibodies, have cellular responses because they've either been vaccinated or infected. So what about when we get to the point where some of that natural immunity starts to wane? Do you think then BA2 could emerge or are we probably going to see the worst of this in the next few weeks? Well, we could see the worst of this in the next few weeks, as many people in Washington at the CDC have suggested because of wastewater analysis. That is looking for viral particles in wastewater. In most of the world, wastewater analysis is done, such as in the UK, and they saw upticks of about a thousand times, and we're about three weeks behind the United Kingdom. They're seeing a surge of Omicron infections. We here are predicting over the next few weeks that we may see a surge in Omicron infections in those people who are not vaccinated in particular and who have not been previously infected. So while I'm not going to go nuts over it and, and worry about the BA2 as being um, a, a major problem, I'm going to say that we may see an uptick of infections as we get into summer. You know, you're not going to take any of the tools and throw them out of the tool bag by now. But uh, in terms of wastewater analysis, it's interesting to me because when you the testing numbers now, it seems that they're skewed because there are so many home tests and are people really reporting it, whether it's positive or negative. So perhaps the wastewater gives us a better sample. Could that be the case? That is the case, Rich, because, you know, people test themselves all the time. I know one of my friends tests him or her himself uh, three times already and he's been negative with the home test and if he becomes positive he's not likely to call his local epidemiologist if there is such a thing or go to the emergency room and say hey i'm positive people just don't do that if they can weather the storm at home they will and they'll stay home for five to ten days and recover but you know the people who are really sick who dial 911 and wind up in the er and indeed get admitted those are the ones that we report as being viable numbers. So the wastewater analysis is really critical. And the reason it's critical is it's the only handle we have to tell as to how many people in a certain area, geographic area, like say New York City, are really infected. Uh, fascinating way to do business and uh, very well, you know, could provide more accurate numbers. Let's bottom line this BA2 issue, Dr. Bob. So you feel vaccines and natural immunity will protect very well against the new variant, correct? I do. I do. I think that it will. But now I don't want to get be an alarmist, but we have to be cautionary. And I think Washington CDC, Tony Fauci, uh, Dr. Ja, all of the experts have said that there could be misinformation. And we, we are laying our guard down because we say, oh, well, Omicron is mild. The pandemic is over, which it's not. Omicron can be very serious. And, and there's also the potential for a new variant developing, a new variant that is immune evasive, although I think that's highly unlikely.